Campbell and I'm making a video here because so many people message me all the time now asking me like, hey dude, why don't you make a video about like how you eat? Like, what does a day look like for you as far as your diet? And you know, Monica too, like tell me, tell us like what you guys eat. Like, how do you guys look like you look, you know, in your early, early getting closer to mid fifties and maintain your body fat and maintain your uh, physiques like you do. So anyway, I'm finally making a video here today. Now, let me first just say that obviously I have books that were published a long time ago, The Metabolic Blowtorch Diet, which you can find on Amazon in a written uh, an audio version, of course, Kindle, uh, paperback, and then audio. I also give the book away for free. All you have to go is go to join.jcampbell.com and subscribe to my email list if you're not already on it and I give you the PDF, okay? And pretty soon we're gonna rework the uh, email sequence so that you also can have the audio version of the book free. Again, it's a you know, $39 book on Amazon, you know, one of the top selling books of all time for intermittent fasting on Amazon, according to their records. It's still a decent amount of money for me on a monthly basis from the book sales. Uh, but again, I give it to you away for free. So, you know, that's, that's been in there since 2017. I have very detailed, precise calculations based on your somatotype, whether you're a mesomorph, endomorph, ectomorph, and how to figure that out. So again, I'm not gonna spend any more time on that. And then of course, there's the advanced version of that book, which is Guaranteed Shredded. You can get that book at guaranteedshredded.com. It's not on Amazon, we sell it direct, but I am going to be making a version two of that book sometime uh, in, I would say, first or second quarter of 2023. Uh, it will also be a course. It'll probably just be a PDF like the first version was, but then it'll also be into a video course because I know a lot of you guys like to watch and listen and you know learn in that way now and people don't have time to read or their brains don't work by reading and stuff like that. Got to gotta go and fish where the fish are. So I understand that. Um, so that look, be on the lookout for that. So just to break it down, very simplistic. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays is when I train with weights. Monica trains with me. We always do either a full body uh, program where we hit every body part, you know, for two sets, positive muscle failure. Uh, and then we switch like every six weeks to a split. Monday, we'll do chest and back. Wednesday, we'll do legs and biceps. And then Friday, we will do shoulders and triceps. And then always every workout, we finish doing core movements and low back. So we do low back extensions and we train our core. Usually either hanging leg raises, cable, uh, cable, you know, weighted cable uh, bend overs, and or um, decline crunches, right, for abs. But you can also get my workout. You can buy that, you know, at Gumroad. I'll put a link to the videos uh, or in the video where you can buy that. Uh, but that's all on a video course, and that shows both of those two workouts uh, and how you train to positive muscle failure. But to get back to the topic of this video at hand, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we train with weights. We also eat relatively unrestrained from a standpoint that we're not restricting our carbohydrates. We're not fasting. We are attempting to replenish our body's muscle glycogen stores, which allows us to train to positive muscle failure on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So again, just to give you guys an example of how I would eat on those training days versus how I would eat on Tuesday and Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, which are fasting days. Uh, on Monday, let's just say, for example, uh, I wake up at 5.30, 5.45. I will have a bowl of oatmeal. I shave. I do my meditations. I listen to my chakra healing uh, beats. And I do my positive word affirmations in the mirror, in the shower, my fog-free shower mirror. Yes, Jay Campbell says affirmations at least three days a week and talks to him to, to his higher self or his higher self comes out and talks to his ego self. Um, but after that, I will come down and Monica is such an amazing woman. She always will make me uh, a bowl of oatmeal, which I will eat. And, uh, you know, that's uh, Hunter um, Williamson's uh, zero oats normally if I have that, if, if I have it in stock. And if not, it'll be like a Quaker oats protein with like a mixture of uh, Quaker oats rolled oats with cinnamon powder. I'm not cinnamon powder, but just like cinnamon, you know, dumped in for flavor, sometimes raisins if I have them. Um, so that's what I'll eat pre-workout. We always work out in the morning. We're usually in the gym by 7.15 to 7.30. Um, sometimes eight, you know, it just depends on life getting in the way so that on that day we train, we train at anytime fitness and Marietta shout out to Marietta, anytime fitness, our gym session, you know, depending on if we're attempting to get lean, uh, last an hour, we'll train with weights. You know, the drive there is 10 to 12 minutes. 
the training session is 30 to 35 minutes. And then we'll do another, you know, 15 to 16 minutes of cardio, um, high intensity post workout when our heart rate is already elevated, um, to increase, you know, caloric burn, uh, to get leaner. And then the drive home is usually an hour, an hour and 10 minutes or an hour and five minutes. Right. Uh, if we're not doing the cardio, we're home usually within 40 to 50 minutes. But then I come home and I have a post-workout shake. We already we always make our shakes and carry them with us in our car. We don't put them in a cooler. We're not that anal retina, but we do put them in the shade so that they don't get you know warm if it's in the sun. You know, we are in a temperate climate in Marietta, California, which is soon to be Mexico pretty soon. More on that later. But we always have that made so that as soon as we come out, we get to the car and we drink in our post-workout shake. Probably getting, you know, between the first meal and then that meal. Uh you know, somewhere between 80 grams of protein. Now, remember, I'm depending on the time of the year. I'm again, I'm shrinking. I'm getting you know shorter. Probably I'm like six one and three fourths now. I used to be six two, uh, and I weigh anywhere from like 208 to 215 pounds. You know, when I'm leaner, I'm somewhere between 206, 208, and when I'm like fatter, you know, I weigh 212 to 215, right? Uh, and again, you know, fat for me is like you know most people would die to be at that level, right? But again, you know. Uh, everybody who's into this world, you know, has some form of muscle dysmorphia. But anyway, I go, I, my weight doesn't fluctuate more than like eight to 10 pounds a year. Okay. And as you guys know, water weight can be that amount either. But, you know, for me, it's like, I am either full six pack or I have like a four pack, you know, cause I put on a little weight, a little bit of belly, not belly, but just fat tissue or water, whatever you want to call it. It's a combination of both. Um, but when we're, you know, leaning out, we do that car, that post-workout cardio. So, just had two meals now on my carb day. I'm probably going to eat again, again, depending on my structure of my day at like 1230, um, which will be always grass fed beef and white rice or brown rice. Sometimes it's a yam and grass fed beef. I love those, but it just depends on if we have time to cook those. Uh, and you know, again, Monica oftentimes will just prep those in glass uh, containers in our refrigerator, but other times it'll just be the grass fed beef in a glass container and I'll make a, you know, instant white rice uh, from Trader Joe's or something like that or wherever we get them, Costco. Uh, and then I'll do the same thing. I'll have this exact same meal uh, three and a half hours later to four hours later. Uh, and then we will have dinner that night. And Monica always makes, you know, a lean protein and, you know, either a veggie or a salad or a veggie and a salad. Sometimes we'll have um, rice at that time too. Usually not, but sometimes. And then, so that's like the fifth eating of the day. Uh, and then usually, again, depending on how restricted I am, I will have a small bowl of oatmeal uh, with MCT oil and protein powder, or I will have a shake with MCT oil and cinnamon powder and sometimes vanilla, you know, sugar-free vanilla uh, nut extract. So on a daily, you know, food eating, non-fasting day in my lifestyle, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I probably get anywhere from like 2,200 to 3,200 calories. Again, I'm not concerned with how many I'm eating because tomorrow I'm going to be fasting and I'm not going to be eating anything. And I'll get to that in a second. But, uh, you know, I'm getting definitely 200 to, 200, 200 to 250 grams of protein. You know, I don't know what my fat is. I mean, again, 2,200 to 3,200, add that up. And my carbohydrates are anywhere from like 125 to 250 grams, right? Again, clean carbs, no junk. Now, every now and then I have junk, you know, if the junk that I eat uh, is pretzels, usually I get those like thin pretzels that everybody eats that, you know, they sell at Costco. I'll have a handful, a couple of those every now and then. Again, when I'm less likely to be restrained, I'll eat that. I know it's GMO. I know it's a boxed food stuff, but you know, we got to live life at times too, guys. So yeah, I'll eat those every now and then. But for the most part, I'm pretty clean. Now the next day, I didn't talk about supplements, but obviously Therapeutic testosterone, I use transcrotal in the morning when I get out of the shower. I take metformin. I'm using desiccated thyroid. I'm taking tesofensine. Uh, I'm also normally injecting a small micro dose in the morning. At the same time, I take my metformin, desiccated thyroid, and tesofensine of growth hormone, uh, J-Flex 9 for joint health and, and support. Vitamin D3, I take a 10,000 I use of that every day. I also take bromidine and I take vitamin B through jaro formulas B and folate because you got to remember always supplement with vitamin B if you're taking metformin. So those, you know, I take every now and then some other natural supplements. I'll take sometimes ALA as a glucose disposal agent. If I take like a huge carb meal, or if I eat like a, you know, a bowl of ice cream or something with like a piece of cake or an apple pie, you know, again, random, very, very rare times during the year, I'll take some ALA with it, but that's normally how I eat. Uh, on the fasting day, which would be the next day. And again, remember I fast on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, 
I wake up early in the morning, the same thing. And I'm literally on my bike, same supplements. Uh, sometimes I take albuterol, you know, I have the inhaler. I also have the pills. Sometimes I have the liquid version. You know, I take up to six milligrams. Uh, and again, remember fasted cardio with albuterol targets, uh, type two, uh, what is it? The A to B, uh, stubborn fat receptors, like right around the midsection that, you know, have poor blood flow. Um, so I'll do that. Um, and I'll do usually anywhere from like 35 minutes to 50 minutes of steady state life cycle bike cardio, right. Again, on an empty stomach. Uh, and then depending on if I have time, I'll go down into my third car garage and I'll do uh, decline bench abs. I'll do like two sets to probably failure each set, which usually is around 25 to 27 reps. Um, and then I come, you know, take a shower, you know, do my morning ritual, uh, and then get, I'm in my office, you know, I'm in here, I'm in, I'm in my studio or my home office, whatever you want to call this. And I am working, uh, we'll then take another supplement break at like three o'clock sometime between three or three 30. I take my second dose of metformin, my second dose of desiccated thyroid, especially if I'm attempting to get lean, another dose of spermidine. Sometimes I take C, uh, a, a microdose of Cialis, um, you know, again, liquid. And then some days when I'm attempting to get shredded or, again on my fasting days, I will do a second cardio session before I break my fast. Uh, and that will usually be sometime around 6.30, 6.45, around 7. After that session, and that could be 30 to 40 to 45 minutes. Uh, remember, it's always steady state. I'm not doing high intensity. I just did a video about that. You don't want to do high intensity, you know, interval type training because you don't want to tap your muscle protein stores because your muscle glycogen stores are super low. And you don't want to do explosive ballistic type movements because that's where you're tapping into muscle and glucose, which you don't have. So your body is very smart and it will break muscle down, which you don't want to do, especially when you're dieting and you're trying to get more body fat loss. So steady state cardio, low impact, walk on an angle, high incline tre treadmill is great. Doing my bike, that's great. Uh, you know, walking outdoors on an incline is even greater because you're in nature, right? So whatever you got to do. Um, but then I will break my fast upon that being over. So that's usually around 730, somewhere in that area. Uh, so now I fasted for 21 hours or 20 hours, 20 and a half hours, sometimes 22 hours, whatever it is. And then usually depending on how much body fat I have to lose or how lean I want to go or how lean I already am, uh, I may have some uh, white rice and some green vegetables and a, and a good protein. And then after that, I will probably eat a shake with 60 to 70 grams of protein, right? So the meal will give me like 50 to 60 grams of protein. So I, I, you know, I'm not really concerned about, you know, getting 200 plus grams of protein to maintain my body weight, uh, on my fasting days. But, you know, I get somewhere between 160, 175, sometimes a little bit less, a little bit more, uh, between the meal, the solid meal, and then the shake with MCT oil. And then I go to bed, you know, I take uh, melatonin, you know, usually 60 to 90 minutes before I go to bed. I do that also on my eating nights. I, I left that off, I think. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, uh, that's kind of my diet. My lifestyle very rarely varies around the year. You know, I will go out to eat on the weekends on Saturday and Sunday night, usually with Monica or with family. Uh, if I've been fasting all day, I don't really care what I eat because, you know, I'm naturally, I'm, I'm a lot leaner already. I've been fast adapted. I've been doing this lifestyle for so long that, you know, if I want to destroy myself one time with my family and eat like a whole pizza and ice cream after a brownie or something like that, you know, I can, right? I mean, again, I don't do this regularly. I don't tell people to do this regularly. You definitely can't do that if you're fat and you have a lot of body fat and high inflammation and insulin resistance. But if you get to the point where you're like me and you have almost no inflammation and you have almost no body fat and you have no insulin resistance and you're, you know, fully optimized, then you can you know, relax, so to speak, and eat, you know, uh, relatively unrestrained at times. So that's kind of it. You know, if you guys, if this interests you uh, and you want to go deeper and you'd like perhaps to let me coach you, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one, or not even one-on-one, -on -one, but through the group coaching, you go to my group, fullyoptimizedhealth.com, um, you know, where every Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we do AMAs where I talk to you, answer your questions directly, uh, I also bring in subject matter experts, but really it's just tip of the sphere health stuff. It's like one of the best online groups on the planet, you know, over 160 members strong, anywhere from 20 to 30 people watching live on, on Tuesday nights. And of course, all calls are recorded. So there's a giant repository in the group now of almost 18 months of like unbelievable information. I always get great comments from people who are in the group about like how awesome the videos are that are in there. So there's a lot to learn. And, you know, again, I spend a lot of time learning this. I pride myself in, you know, being at the tip of the sphere myself. So if I learn it, you guys are surely going to know it. So hopefully that this will help some of you guys It will, you know, get you to a point now where like you have a better understanding of what me and Monica, if I didn't say Monica does pretty much the same thing, 
uh, do on a day in day out basis to look and feel the way that we do. So hopefully that helps, man. I send all of you guys tremendous love and light, and I appreciate you guys watching this channel. I will see you all soon. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, head over to my email list where you will get cutting edge knowledge and info on health, hormones, biohacking, and spirituality. Join 20,000 other like-minded men and women that are looking to take their life to the highest level and get the inside track to becoming fully optimized. Go to join.jcampbell.com and sign up today.